Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share 2.2 factorizations subtopic 2.2.2 factorizations of algebraic expressions. Learning standard for today is 2.2.3 which is solving problems involving factorizations. Let's have a look on the example. The area of a rectangular shaped football field is 4x squared plus 16x square meters. The field was flooded as shown in the diagram below. If the width of the field is 4x meter and the two flooded regions are right angle triangle which are congruent, what is the area of the region that is not flooded? To solve this problem, we must follow the three simple steps which is give, ask and count. So what is means by give? Give is the information that give from the question. So from here, we notice that the information that give from the questions is the area of the rectangle, which is 4x squared plus 16x. The other information that give from the question is the width of the field is 4x. So the width is 4x. The second step is the what is the question asked. The question asked to find the area or find the region that is not flooded okay so how we find the region which is not flooded so to find the region which is not flooded we must use the rectangle the area of the rectangle minus the area of the two triangle from the question mentioned there is two area uh two uh right angle triangle okay so which is congruent so if we manage to get one of the area of the rectangle uh, triangle then we manage to get the area by multiplying 2. Okay, so we must find the area of triangle in order for us to cal calculate the area of the region that is not flooded. But how we find the area of triangle? The, uh, the formula to find the area of triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. We have the base here, but we don't have the height. So how we get the height? Actually, we can get from the area of rectangle area of rectangle is given 4x squared plus 16x and the width is given to get the length we can use the we can make it into the formula can transform it into length equal to area over width okay when we have the length then we manage to find the area of the triangle then after that when we want to find the region which is not flooded we use the area of the whole rectangle minus the area of the triangle okay so let's start to do the calculations to solve these questions first thing we must find the length okay as mentioned earlier we have to find the length of the rectangle by get the length okay we have to use the area divide the width the area given from the question is 4x squared plus 16x divided by the width which is 4x to divide it we must factorize the first the area okay factorize how we factorize the area we have to take out the common factor which is 4 and x okay so the remain inside is x plus 4 okay so divide by 4x so it's 4x divided by 4x we can cut it off okay so the answer for the length is x plus 4. After we find the length, we have to continue to find the area of the triangle. Okay, we have the two triangle. Therefore, we use 2 times 1 over 2 times the base. Okay, times the height. Okay, from the base given from the rectangle, actually it's 4x. But since it's half of it, so it's divided by 2. So, 4x divided by 2. The base is 4x divided by 2. Then, multiply by the height is x plus 4. 
So make it a bracket, put in a bracket easier. So from here, we try to simplify it, this one, then cut. So 4x divided by 2 is 2x. Sorry, I have to change back to the white color. So it's a 2x times x plus 4. Okay, so this is the area of the triangle. We can try to expand it, okay, by using the arrow method. So it's 2x squared plus 8x. This is only for the area of triangle. So to find the area of not flooded, okay, so it's equal to the area of the rectangle minus the area of the triangle. So we take the 4x squared plus 16x minus, put in bracket, yeah, because there is more than one terms, okay. Then after that, we remove the bracket. Be careful when we remove the bracket. Negative, positive is negative. From here, negative, positive give you a negative. 2x squared. Then negative, positive also negative 8x. After that, we find the like terms. Like term is 4x squared minus 2x squared. Then another one is 16x minus 8x. So, the last answer is 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. Then, 16x plus, uh, 16x minus 8x, which is the plus 8x. Therefore, this is the last answer for the area. Okay, so we can, after this is the last answer, when, the, the, when which is last answer, don't forget to write down the unit. Okay. When doing the calculations, no need to put the unit. When the last answer, please write down the unit when area, which is a square meter. Let's have a look on another question. Hana cuts a piece of cloth with an area of 72 V cube W square X square meter in 6 V W X equals small pieces. So each small pieces of cloth, a small piece of cloth is 3V meter in length. So find the width of the small piece of cloth. So follow the three simple steps, give, ask, and count. So give, information give from the question is area. Then the area is in 6VWX equal square, uh, sorry, equal small pieces. So each small pieces is equal to 3V meter. So we need to find the width of the small piece of cloth. Okay. So to find the area of one small piece of cloth is to count. After that, we have to count the area of one small piece cloth. Then only we can find the width of the small piece cloth. Okay. So we jump into the calculations. Okay. So we have to start by using the find, uh, by finding the area of one small piece of cloth. To get the one small piece of cloth we use the we use the area divided by the 6vwx which is the the numbers of the small pieces so now after that we get the answer which is 12v square meter how sorry uh this is yes 12v square w meter how do how to get this answer from here, x and x we can cancel. W and W on top one we can cut. There's three W there, right? Okay, so we cut one, then we have two here, so we have V here. Okay, up and down we divide. So 72 divided by 6, so it's a divide by 6. So this is equal to 12. So answer is 12 V square W. So this is area of one small piece of cloth. So the question, the next, we need to find the V of the small piece of cloth. So to get the width of the small piece of cloth, we have to use the area given, then divided by the 3V. Okay, because 3V is the uh, each, uh, the length of the each small piece of cloth. So after we divided by the length, we manage to get the width. Okay, so 12V w, v square W divided by 3V. So this one divided by 3V, still same thing, we can simplify it. 
So W we cannot cancel. So for V square and V, so this is square cancel with this. Okay, one up and down. We still left uh, V, one V uh, on top. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the answer is 4VW. Thank you very much for joining tutorial class today. Please do homework on page 33, cell practice 2.2, question number 6. I will see you on next class. Bye.